touch some shoes. If you guys read my blog, you know how much I love customizing shoes. I've done pretty much everything from blinging them up with diamantes to glitter to completely remaking them, adding lace, completely changing the shoe. But today I'm going to do something that I've wanted to try for ages, decoupage. I've been cleaning out my closets lately and I found a stack of old Japanese magazines. Love them to death, but I just don't have the space living in a one bedroom apartment for all of this stuff. I gave most of them away to friends, but rather than put the last ones to waste, I thought we'd do some fun craft projects with them. For this project, you'll need a pair of shoes, a magazine or some old comic books or something similar to decoupage with, a bowl with some water in it, and some PVA glue. PVA glue has different names in different countries, but if you Google it, I'm sure you'll be able to find a similar substitute in your country. If you're in the US, you could probably use something like Mod Podge, but we don't really have that available here, so cheap old PVA it is. The shoes that I'm going to be using today are just standard heels. They're from Joanne Mursa and they're pretty old, and I think they need a bit of a makeover. These ones are leather on the outside, but it doesn't really matter because you can do this to any shoes, you'll just need to adjust the kind of glue that you're using accordingly. So the first step is to flick through your magazine and find some nice bright pages that we can pair up to put on the shoes. I'm going to go with some of the brighter advertisements at the beginning. Ah, 2007 was such a great era for Japanese fashion. Now you need to tear up your magazine into small pieces. I want the whole shoe to be really cool looking. No filler! A lot of the pieces that I'm picking are Lolita fashion because it's cute and it's going to make for some really interesting designs on the shoes. Okay, let's start with that for now. First shoe. Pour a bunch of PVA glue into your water. You want pretty much a one to one ratio of water and glue. Mix it together thoroughly. Things are going to get a bit messy, so if you need to protect the surface that you're working on, make sure you put down some paper or plastic or fabric or something. Take your first piece of paper and dip it into the glue mixture. It needs to be completely soaked. Magazines are going to be a little bit harder to work with because the paper is thicker. And the glue and water needs to like penetrate right into the middle. That way when it dries, it'll perform like a nice hard shell. Once you've got it soaked, place it onto the shoe and smooth it down with your finger so it fits the exact shape of the shoe. It's much easier to work with small pieces when you're decoupaging cuffs because they tend to fit better. Take your next piece, soak it for a little bit, and place it so it's overlapping the first piece you did. See how it hangs around here? I'm just going to fold that inside and press it down so it sticks. The overlapping is actually really important because it will make the whole structure much stronger later on. And that's it. You just need to continue until you've done the entire shoot. So let's do it. Continue going around the top section, doing like, I guess you would call it the mouth of the shoe, the top edge of the shoe anyway, and then we'll flip it over and do the bottom afterwards. Along the bottoms, you want things to be as straight as possible so that it actually matches up with the seam along the bottom of the shoe. So it's a good idea to use the edge of the pages of the magazine because they're already cut quite straight. Don't 
forget that paper has a grain, so it'll be much easier to tear straight lines in one way than it will be in the other way. If you're having trouble following the curves of the shoe, just use smaller pieces of paper. So there we go, finished. Now I just need to wait for it to dry so we can do another couple of coats of glue. While that's happening, I will do the other one. And time travel to now. Yeah, it's totally a thing. Decoupage. Okay, so we've got both of our shoes done. This one is dry and this one is clearly not dry. You can see it's much darker. I guess you can see the black of the shoe coming through a lot more while the paper is still wet. With our dry one, we're going to coat it in full PVA now and that's going to make it much harder when it dries so they're going to be more durable. You can paint it on if you want, but I'm just going to use my finger. There we go, completely covered in glue. Gross. So we're going to put that to the side for a while until it's completely dry. See you in a little bit. It's a little while later now. Welcome back. And the shoes are dry! How cute do they look? They're very shiny at the moment because the glue is just dry. If you want to make them a little bit more matte, you can use some makeup finishing powder and just dust it on top. But I quite like them shiny. Too cute! And you can hear, they're pretty hard now. But they've still got a bit of give to them so you'll be able to get your foot in there easily. <laughs> and there you have it! Cute shoes. No more magazines taking up space in my cupboard, which is also a plus, but I still get to keep the memories of wearing this fashion many years ago. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial, let me know if you give it a try, and I'll see you next time. Bye! If you like this video, then chances are you'll like my others too. Subscribe to my channel, then check out my blog at violetlebeau.com, there's even a super cute puppy. <laughs>